Okay, so I gave in and I'm going to do a vlog. But it's an interesting one, I can assure you that. So... So often in reviews and critiques these days, I see films, novels, fan fiction, etc, etc, wrongly labelled as fantasy when they are clearly science fiction or sci-fi, and vice versa. But wait, there's a difference? Yes, there is a difference, and it's more simple than what you think, yet so many people tend to overlook it. So without further ado, let's break it down. What is the difference between a fantasy and a science fiction? A film, game, novel, whatever, is classified as a fantasy when the magical elements of the story cannot or have not been explained by some sort of science, whether it be factual science that could realistically happen, or pseudoscience, a sort of make-believe science that does not adhere to the scientific method. It may not be possible here, but it is possible in the world of the story. A prime example of pseudoscience is the 1993 film Jurassic Park. But wait, Jurassic Park could happen. Yeah, sorry to say, but recent studies have proven DNA cannot survive longer than 6.8 million years, whether frozen or not. Meaning that our dreams of dinosaur clones are 58.5 million years too late. Uh, anyway, so fantasy is basically explained by magic. With that in mind, let's take a look at the film book series Harry Potter, where the magic of the world is not explained by character or by author, it's just there, and is accepted by all. With lack of any real explanation, this can simply be classified as fantasy, whereas something like Star Wars, for example, where it's explained early on that the magical force is controlled by these midi-chlorians, these microscopic life forms found in all cells, all cells in life. This can easily be classified as a science fiction. Of course you can't simply label a story as just a fantasy or just a science fiction. There are a lot of co-genres, I guess you could call them, that come under each genre. Total Recall, 1990 for example, is classified as an action sci-fi. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind 2004 is a romance sci-fi. Howl's Moving Castle 2004 is a fantasy adventure. An Interview with the Vampire 1994 is classified as a horror fantasy. Within sci-fi and fantasy there are two levels as well. In sci-fi these levels are hard sci-fi and soft sci-fi. Hard sci-fi is when science plays a larger part than usual in the story. The plot itself could even be a scientific revelation of some sort. Stories known as hard sci-fi are often very heavily researched to be as realistic as possible. The film Gravity 2013 is a prime example of this. Soft sci-fi, on the other hand, often deals more with social sciences and politics. An example of this would be the 1973 film Soylent Green. Fantasy follows a similar path as well, with hard fantasy and soft fantasy. Hard fantasy is defined when the entire story is set inside this one fantastical world. Lord of the Rings it would probably be the best example of this, where the whole story is set inside the magical world of Middle-earth. Soft fantasy, the most popular in recent times, is often set in our world with one or two elements being slightly altered. This could be the sudden existence of mystical creatures, or certain individuals getting supernatural powers. The Twilight Saga would be a good example of soft fantasy. Well, I hope that helped in some way. And that's the difference between science fiction and fantasy. Don't do that.